back, everybody. This is Captain Von Trapp, and we are continuing Factorio, where we are making a factory empire on a... Oh, oh, we got an enemy. Shoot him. So the combat is fairly straightforward. You know, hold down space bar, and it shoots the closest dude. I'm guessing eventually I can get that out of the way. I thought I could. Uh... Maybe I need some sort of, like, laser miner or something later. I'm not sure. All right. So the plan was to, number one, get the copper down to here as we make our copper assembly line down this way. Uh, so I can continue on that route. Let's see. Where are my... I don't have any conveyor belts. Need to make some. All right, let's pull that up. So we're gonna I'm gonna have these. Matter of fact, let's not do that. I'm gonna immediately snake it to the right so I can get some more resources out of here if I need it. Uh, I went one too far because I need space for the inserter. Okay, so I should be able to put the inserter right here. Yep, and now I just need to get power down here. So how am I going to get power? Let's see, I can come across here. And make sure I have enough. Okay, there. And then, yes, and then down here. Perfect. Okay, so that will start throwing copper in there, and then we need to get we need to get our coal also. So I'm thinking I can bring the coal down here on a conveyor on the back side. Uh, but of course, I need to make some more conveyors for that. Got plenty of copper. I need another furnace, don't I? Yes, I do. Let's make one of those. Another smelter. Let's make four of them, as a matter of fact. Okay, so I got the resources coming off. No problem. Uh, we can put another furnace here. Let's see. I want to... Um, I saw a, a video that somebody else had done where the... Uh, Essentially, let's see, I'm going to leave that going straight down for now. I need power to it, though. Um, am I out of power poles? Uh, I am for the moment. <laughs> I have to go get some more wood, too. Uh, so I had seen a video where you can eventually upgrade these to electric furnaces, but they're one square tile bigger. They're 3x3 three three instead of 2x2, two two, so you need to leave a space in here if you want to later upgrade these to a, a bigger tile. So this should pull both coal and iron off of the conveyor belt as needed. Uh, so I need to get the coal down to here. Now, what is the easiest way to do that? It is going to be... I'm going to run along the back side. I may have to move that. Uh, I need one space for the inserter. So I should be able to come down here. And I'm going to run out of... Let's see, I need to move that. Let's do that here. Yep, that will work. I'm already out of conveyor belts. It's okay because I'm getting plenty of resources. Just need to pull them out of these things. See, because we're, we're we're getting the system working now. Okay, we're letting letting the system do our work for us. But it's kind of neat. Uh, a lot of the fun in this game is figuring out how to get the system to do what you want it to. You know, auto automated. Oops. Leave one space. Okay. And then reconnect the power. 
<laughs> Let's go. That That's fine, I guess. It's not the prettiest in the world, but that's okay. And then, uh, okay, rotate that down. Now, this should grab coal as soon as I power it. It should be okay. Yeah, so that's grabbing coal to take down to the furnace, which will then... Plug it into the furnace on this side as soon as, once again, I give it power. We'll put the power on this side this time. Perfect. All right, so now we've got, we've got our iron automated. We've got our copper automated. We can add another copper smelter down here, I think. Let's see. We're going to go one space in between. Let's, let's see, we're there. One down. Okay, right there. Perfect. And then we will... Uh, We'll push these down. And then uh, I'm out of inserters. Okay, so let's build some more inserters. And then eventually I'll need to start looking at my... Uh, my power. Um, there, It's like color-coded, so I'm not exactly sure... If I'm looking at it the right way, uh, it wasn't well, one of those things that wasn't covered in the tutorial and I haven't looked up yet. So, now I should be able to put this right in. Oh, but I see it. Okay, if I put it in the middle, that won't work. So I need to go there. Or I could go there. Yeah, let's do that. I'm in the way. I could should be able to go there. Yeah. Okay. And then, you know what I'm not taking into account, though? I eventually need to get these raw, raw materials out of here. Um, so I have screwed that up. My raw materials need to come out on this side. So what I'm going to have to do is put the coal... Uh, actually, yeah... Yep. Gonna need to. I'm gonna need to fix this. So I need the coal on the same belt as the copper, and then on the back side, I need. I need it. Taking out. The. Uh, the copper plates that it made. So what I need to do is come down this way right here I think this will work about to see we are about to see so oh yeah need to give it power I should be able to take that one away yeah Now, ideally, it would be putting it on the other side because I'm going to screw up my flow here. So can I make it put it on the other side? Hmm. Because this is not going to be optimal. It's going to be bunched up. Yeah, that's not going to work. Stop that. Stop that. Um, how can I fix that? Let's see. I need to get it so that it's dumping onto the... F see, it dumps onto the far side. Hmm... So if I put my conveyors down here, it's going to dump on the same side as the copper, which is not going to work. Now what I could I know what I can do. Okay. Okay, I've got it. We just have the conveyor belt running into the other side. So, 
we do it like this. No, nope, wrong way. <laughs> like that. Okay. And then we take this off and move it over here. Yeah, sorry, I had to had to think there for a second. Now that should run it all the way down into here and so it hit, should hit the right side. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed to do. Okay, I knew I could figure this out. It's not rocket science, right? <clears throat> okay, plenty of raw materials coming in. Um, and these are what? Out of... Oh, they were just full. They shut down because they're full. Okay, and this... Uh, you know what? Burner miner, we, we don't really need you anymore. We can replace you with an electric miner. You are replaceable, buddy. I don't know if anybody ever told you, but you are. Um, and so eventually I can get another uh, copper miner here, too, to dump right there. think what I'm going to need. Am I going to need more coal? I mean, I'm okay right now. I'm not really backing up on either side. It would be nice to then have an output line. So let's see, my, my iron output line is going to come down on the back side over here, and my copper line is going to come down on the back side over here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. Um, I never put my lab down. So where do we want our our base? I'm not sure what the lab makes. I kind of want to put it... Uh, somewhere else where it's I'm, you know what I'm just I'm gonna put it up here I have no idea what it makes whoa oh my gosh look at this automation oh these are the technologies that I can research I guess oh crazy faster Oh, this is so. This is a part of the game I haven't even got into at all. These must be the things it gives me. Ah, okay. Let's go with automation first. What it requires science packs. So how do I make science packs? It was something I had to craft. I guess I'll just craft a whole bunch of them. <laughs> And throw them in there? I have no idea. Uh, yeah. I'll just put those... Yeah, you can just have those, I guess. <laughs> it needs power. Oh, are we out of... Oh, we're out of juice. Oh, that's not good. Uh, okay. Um, Alright, I need to figure that out. I'll need to get some coal over to my burners. So we'll have to have another coal line going the other way. Wasn't paying attention to my power. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. This is what happens in a complex game when you're you're just starting out playing it. All right. Yeah. And then we're gonna put half in here and the other half in there. Okay. Now we have power again. Perfect. Okay, and it's researching away. Awesome. <laughs> With the little electromagnetic effect, like there's a dude in there just around one of those hand uh, lightning globe things. I'm not sure what they're called. The electromagnetic globes that react to your touch. All right, we got our lab underway. We're researching new stuff. Repair packs. Hmm. I don't know what that's for. But let's build a couple. Um, I'm going to want at least, let's see, another coal drill, another copper drill. I could get some more labs going. Eventually I'll probably need more power. But not at the moment. Radar? Yeah, radar is good because it allows you to... Uh, 
uh, detect. And eventually I'm going to need some more clips when I start building my gun turrets and stuff. You can build gun turrets to help protect yourself. So I'm going to build a completely separate coal line up here, I think. Oh, I'm still working on my research packs. Those take a lot of time to build. Understandably, I guess. Uh... Because eventually I could build another... Let's see, how can I do this smartly? Alright, so we researched it, I guess. Automation 2, Automation 3. Optics. Allows for the laser and solar energy. Useless at night. Inserter item stack bonus. Okay. Um... That sounds good also. Faster ways to transport. Let's get some turrets. La laser turret, gun turret. Do I already have it? I didn't think I could build a gun turret. Walls, steel processing. Electronics. Uh, let's see. So, oh, it, so it, it allows for me to research these things. Smart inserter. Hmm. It's faster. Let's go for logistics this time. Let's see what that does. So eventually, if I want to upgrade my power plants here, I, I I need to have a smart way of getting the coal in here. I'm trying to think of how I could do that smartly. I could have them in line like this. Not sure if you can split the water. Eventually, I could I could build maybe a bigger power plant up here, by this body of water. Hmm. Be something to consider. Let's dump all those off. How are we doing down here? We're out of out of fuel. Oh, so we're not dumping coal into... Yeah, so I need to get... Well, for the moment, I can just add add a little bit of coal to keep it going. I need to replace that with one of my electric drills as soon as they get built. I built so, so many research packs, and I honestly don't know how to cancel the research that I'm doing. Let's see, I just broke something. I just broke my axe. Pull the copper that we've made out of here. And our iron. Okay. Those productions are coming along nicely. Our research is... Okay, there's a research going on up here. Logistics. Yep. What is... What? Steam engine. Oh, I'm hovering over that. I thought it was hovering over something on the mini-map it was showing me. But no, that is not the case. So I wonder if this will move it up the queue. That's my guess. How many of those things did I queue up? A lot, apparently. So there's got to be a way to automate science packs being made, maybe? That you can then dump into the... Laboratory? I'm not sure, but it would make sense that that would be possible. Uh, so I want to get another coal. Well, I mean, I have so much coal right now. I don't really need another one. What I do need is... Uh, no, I need to replace that. Okay, so let's pull that out. Let's replace this. Get rid of this old burner technology. Let's replace it with electrical. It's the wave of the future, folks. And then let's get power to it. Now, if I put it over here, it should power two of them. And that would be better. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I'm loving the way this is going. Yeah, th this, is, uh, this is one of those addictively fun games 
where there's there's always something around the next corner to do to mess with. Um, so I still need to get coal over here. And see, yeah, so I'm not sure how to read this. The way I read it is that as soon as that green line gets to the top, then we have maxed out our power, the little performance line that's going back and forth over there. Um, so we should still have some capacity, but I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I'm reading that right. So what I can do is I can take another boiler up this way, and then I can have two steam engines in a row as long as I uh, set it up in the correct manner. So I'm going to need some conveyor belts to move the coal down this way. Assembly machine. So what this does is anything that requires two ingredients or less to build, you can shove them into this assembly machine and it'll make them. So you can automate making of something else. I'm not sure what I would need at this point, but eventually there's going to be something. A long-handed inserter. Hmm. I'm going to make a couple of those because I have no idea what they do. Something else that's not in the tutorial. So I'm pretty much out of my tutorial safe space here. Uh, is there anything else new? No. No, iron sticks. Okay, so we finished. Uh, let's see, what is We opened up armor crafting? No, we opened up these logistics, which gives us a railway. Ooh, an automobile. That's cool. Uh, what does this give us? Uh, requires. I kind of still want to work on my automation at this point. I think we're going to go that route. All right, so we have our, uh, let's see, actually, I want to see the uh, the long arm. How do I get it down here? You can drag it down. I think there's a quicker way to do that. Oh, so it, it, it will go over a long distance. Hmm. What would be the use in that? Not sure. I am not sure. So uh, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a space and I'm gonna bring the coal down this way. And I ran out of conveyor belts. Always need some conveyor belts. What can I? Underground belt. A splitter. Okay. So a splitter is is cool because it will take stuff in and then obviously split it out and a fast inserter oh, awesome we're getting lots of stuff but i don't need a fast inserter for this operation okay and then I, what i'm gonna need is an electric mine oops and that's not the key i meant i meant r not e so this should be okay to drop coal onto there. And yep, that should be fine right there. Okay, so th this should, oh yeah, well, this should, as soon as I build my regular electric inserters. Yeah. Okay, and we can power all three of them there. Awesome. So that will now take coal down in here. We can make some lamps if we want to. So can, I can't make turrets yet, I don't think. Radar. I can make a radar. I could put that up with my lab to start mapping out and seeing the bugs attack. But where do I want to put the radar? This could be my little home base with the... Uh, I'm going to put the radar right here, right in the middle of the base. How many did I build? <laughs> I thought I only built one. Maybe I built another one before. We'll put two radars. That's fine. 
So I think they will just start scanning around and let me let me see out further as they begin to scan. All right. Um, so one of our automation steps will be to uh, to take all these plates and dump them into something. Not sure what we need to dump them into yet. Right now, we can make some underground belts, which we don't need. I don't think I need the splitters. I can replace everything with fast. Uh, we need to research some stuff, I think, basically. I can make some more labs. There's nothing I need to assemble, I don't believe. Like, see, I could make... I could have an assembly machine that just makes a bunch of electronic circuits. Uh, but I don't think I need to be making a whole bunch of those at the moment. Or I can make magazines, I guess. Oops, that's not... Yeah, that's fine. Basically, we need to research some more stuff. Need to get some better weapons. I haven't been attacked very much. So this is a little bit different than the tutorial. The tutorial, I got attacked quite a bit more than this. But I also had gun turrets uh, immediately at the very beginning, which I just I don't have here. I don't know what this wood gives me either. I'm going to build that to see what it actually is. What, it, what, what is the wood? I can't. I have no idea what that does. <laughs> it doesn't appear to do anything, and I can't pick up the coal <laughs> that I dropped. Eventually, I'm thinking I'm going to be able to use that crude oil for something. At the moment, I have no idea what. Let's see. I am out of... Oh, yeah. I need some more of those. need some more science packs. So that would be cool. Actually... This would be the perfect thing for my assembly machine. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to do it in the next episode. So we'll do... Hmm. That takes an inserter and a transport belt? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but we can make two assembly machines. Well... I guess I would have to make an assembly machine to make the iron gear and then an assembly machine to take copper plates and the iron gear to make science packs and then dump them in here. So I may have to move my lab. Um, all right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, hanging out with us. Catch you next time. Bye.